All right, so coaches, the question was trying to get uh, under 12s to go through the pass, cut, and replace uh, motion. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's a couple things to that. One, they're under 12s. So they, uh, what you show them conceptually, they're always kind of, kind of, they're always going to struggle with straight away. But the best thing about under 12s is that they're such sponges. All right. So just get in five out spots for me. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You can teach this whole part whole and kind of show them what it looks like all together. And then you can break it down. Um, and I wish I had a perfect answer for you, but let me show you things that I've experimented with and seen other coaches do. All right, so uh, five out pass cut replace, right? So the motion for it is just, you're gonna pass to a teammate, you're gonna cut towards the rim, your read on your catch is can you score, shoot, if not, can you pass it to your teammate, if not, then you're gonna pass to a different teammate, right? So, he passed it, he cut, and now we need to have the replace. There's a massive space here, so the teammate on the opposite side can just replace that space. And then you've gotta replace that space, and then you've gotta exit out the most space, right? So, continue to do that until I say stop. So, pass, cut, replace, and whoa, 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 freeze. On every catch, let's get in stance so we look like basketball plays. All right, so catch, square up to the rim, look like you're gonna score, Take the pass to the cutter, then move the ball on. Ready, set, go. So pass, cut, square up. Take the pass to the cutter, then get out to space. Good, pass, cut, good. Look at the cutter, fake the pass, move it on. Good, good, great, and freeze. All right, now, so a couple of things to think about is there's sequence, right? Let me show you some things that different coaches I've seen over the years do. Um, what exactly are they having problems with? The movement conceptually? Yeah? Oh, great. All right, so the rules. The rules to a, because uh, this is a motion offense. The pro to motion offense is that you're teaching kids to read. So you're teaching them to look before they cross the road rather than step on the road and then get a high five from the bus, right? Uh, the con to motion is that it takes time because you got, you're basically teaching the kids to read. But reading on a basketball court is significantly important. Uh, so, uh, let me show you a, a version. Uh, boys, can I have you five in dark and then defend these gents? Uh, can you stand on that side for me, please? All right, so coach, this one is just called uh, Floor Balance 5v5. So we're going to play 5v5 pass and cut, but gents, here are the rules. We always, you three, have to stay on this side of the floor, and you two have to stay on this side of the floor. All five of you are still working and getting to put the ball in the rim, but we, we always have to have great floor balance. All right, you five match up. Yeah, as in go mark the player. Yes, but you're still involved, you're still on offense, and he can pass to you, but these three have to stay on this side of the floor. All right, if offense, if any offense, runs over to the other side of the floor, automatic turnover, then dark ball. All right, ready. Check ball, check, get set, pass, cut, replace, go. Go, pass, cut, oh, he's open, score. Gotta, still gotta play different, so. All right, ready, light ball, they're up one nil. Ready, check and play, nice pass. Pass, cut, good, we're still playing, we're still playing. <laughs> oh, he's open again! Oh, freeze! You high five his eye, man. Are you okay? All right, he's all, he's all right. Uh, dark ball from top. Dark ball from top. Ready? 
Check and play. Go. Pass. Cut. Oh, three. Turnover. Strong that side. White ball ready. Starting in three, two, one. Get set. Go. Pass. Cut. Oh, yes. And freeze. Freeze. That's interesting. It's interesting. I forgot to do something. What's that? What have I forgotten to do? I've forgotten to dribble. <laughs> Not one person has decided to attack the rim. Yeah. So they just naturally thought, oh, I'm going to pass up the place. Now, um, they're under 18 kids. They, they understand the concept. But under 12 kids, sure, they might dribble straight away. Hey, group, we're playing basketball, right? So if you have the ball, you're thinking catch, shoot, or dribble. Not one person dribble. Yeah? And I, 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 perfect. Great, great demonstration for coaches around the world. It's all on video. Right? But don't forget to beat your defender off the dribble. All right, here we go. Uh, who just scored just then? Did we get a score? All right, dark ball. Ready? Starting in three, two, one. Get set, go. Where's the space? Where's the space? Just get the space. Oh! Nice finish, dark ball. Quick, starting in three, two. Hey, defense marking the ball here. Can you put a little bit more pressure? Oh, finally, good, yes. Good, find space. Don't forget to dribble. Great. And, ooh, bad luck. Freeze there, freeze here. All right, so there's a version. Now, to help with decision making. Uh, boys, can you pick up the cones? Now, it, it also depends on, it also depends on uh, their ability to make decisions. If they were very poor at making decisions, I'll put less defenders. Boys, let's go five versus four. So one duck off. One duck off. So now uh, one person is always guarding two people. Offense, here are your rules. And I'm gonna adjust this. I'm gonna put constraints to this. You are allowed to dribble outside the three-point line. You're allowed to dribble in the key, but you're not allowed to dribble in no man's land. No man's land is everything from three-point line to the edge of the key, all right? So if you want to dribble, then you've got to get catches inside here or catches out there, okay? Ready? Catch, get set, go! Good, good, get out of the game. Get out of three point one! And freeze, freeze. Three seconds, number two. So you, you came inside the key and then you were open, so you thought, hey team, are you gonna have a look? And then you just stayed there a little bit too long. All right, uh, did we get a score just then? Dark ball, here we go. Ready, starting in three, two. It, yes, uh, yes, so five, sorry, correct. So five offense, four defense. So one white can get off, doesn't matter who. <coughs> Ready, check, play. Check, and go. <coughs> Good, not allowed to dribble inside no man's land. Good, fine, fine. Good, nothing wrong with that decision. And freeze. So here's part of the decision making as well. You'll catch here. Your catch here, uh, you were there, you sagged, right? Uh, coaches, what two things define a great shot? What two things define a great shot? Not just a good shot, a great one. Space, open. What's the second thing? Yeah. Think about second chance as well. Rebounders. Rebounders. So, one, you're wide open. Number two, is there a rebounding position? Yeah, he is kind of. Second tallest guy on your team. Yeah, if Connor hadn't eaten so many vegetables. Yeah, you got the green light, mate. Shoot it. All right? So don't hesitate. So this is where basketball, this is where uh, basketball decision making comes in, right? And he might not be a confident shooter, but he can build confidence for his decision making. This is a great decision. Because at the end of the day, how old are you? How old are you? 
16. Man, you spend three years shooting 100 shots a day, then you're going to be significantly better. All right? Uh, switch over. Let's do one more demonstration with this constraint. Ready? Uh, one defense. Get off. Ready? Check up. Get set. Go. Oh, wide open. Oh, wide open. Yes. Yes. Now, uh, let's go 5v5. Uh, pass the ball to the offense. Uh, let's adjust a couple things now. So if, if they were really poor and they were struggling to score 5v4, take away another defender. Then just go 5v3. And then you could just add those rules. You have to get every catch outside the three-point line and you're not allowed to dribble inside the three-point line then see what they do. Yeah, because they just have to go through the experience. Jared, how do, can they set up deeper inside the key, the de defence? Can the defence? Yeah, the defence. Do they have to be out on the man like that or could they be setting up well, deeper? Well, technically not. No. So, for example, uh, the person with the ball just get up on the ball and the other four defenders get on the edge of the key. Just stand on the edge of the key and then point your pistols from there. So, kind of closer, on the edge of the key, mate. That's it. Like that? Is that what you mean? Yeah. 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 Uh, and what's your question around that? Well, just, um, just that they, they might see, be able to mark them the two men easier mm -hmm. by sitting back a little bit further, that's all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah, right. That's right. Um, the um, only con to this is that you pass to a shooter, shooter with that much space should shoot, then weak side can get offensive rebounds. Uh, the, the other con to this is by the time they get to under 14s and they're not putting any pressure in the passing lane, by the time they get to the under 14s, then kids become better shooters and they're just sagging so far back that they're just not gonna have any impact on the basketball. And we need to teach them to put pressure, but I do understand tactically that some coaches might do this to say, you know what, it's worth the risk to get you to shoot. So this is where you might have to get clever. You might have to say, all right, you're gonna sag off me, we're gonna play three out, two in. I'm gonna put my two tallest people on the edge of the key and then at least give us a chance to get second chance points, all right? Um, gents, for this one, there's two things I want to adjust for this version. The checkup, I want to mix up. Let's make that more challenging. So can you go to the black line, please, offense? Uh, give the ball to the D, and then face the other basket. So the game's going to start this way. You're going to lob it over his head, and then you're going to catch it, but you're going to put pressure right away. So that way, it's just like a real basketball game. He has no idea what's in front of him, and the defense could do anything, so it's reactive. So get closer, then just lob it over his head. All right, here we go. We're playing five out. Now the rule, the other rule, sorry, I forgot to mention, you are not allowed to dribble anywhere. You just have to catch, move, and try to get a basket off a cut. Ready. Not, not netball, basketball without a dribble. Ready, set, go. Good, turn around, play on, play on. We're playing, we're playing, we're playing. Got to find a cutter. Good, who can be open? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, they tried something. They tried something. Ready, starting in three, two. Start the ball with the defense. Turn around offense. Get set, over the head. Then catch and play, watch out. Good, square up, good. We're playing, pass and cut. Oh, turnover, not allowed to dribble. White ball starting in three. Two, I understand, it's 8 p.m. on a uh, Tuesday night, it's all good. Get set, go. Good, catch it, turn around. Here we go, we're playing. Oh, great cut. Ooh, oh, he's calling for it. Oh! Now, someone's being smart. Good, shot clock's coming in. So that was interesting. That was, that was really interesting because you had one player identify that his defender was smaller than him. So when he cut, he sealed and he called for it. And then when he did get a catch, then a cutter just went behind him. Now, under 12 kids, uh, I would be very impressed if they kind of understood their strengths at that age. Um, but these, these under 18 kids are basically showing you the kinds of experiences that they can go through to benefit. And you can break that down. You don't have to go five and four. You can do that four v three. Uh, you can do that three v two. If you want to practice cutting, then you can do that two v one. 
as well. And then the rules with the cut are uh, passable, please. The rules with the cut, if you pass, pass to a teammate, you always want a face cut. To set up a face cut, we take a step away, make the defense jump uh, in front of us, and then we cut over them. So that way it's just ball and my teammate. All right? If, if the defense does a good job jumping towards the ball, so you jump towards the ball and you deny the passing lane, so with your outside hand, deny me the pass. That's it. Then I have to go behind. Then the other rule is, or with him, if you deny his passing lane, and these guys were doing it already aggressively. If he was denying the passing lane, then what would you do? What's that called? That's called a backdoor cut. Yeah. So you're going behind him to try and get the ball back. Yeah? So every cut, we always want to try to face cut. And then if a play is denied, we just cut behind him and just do a backdoor. 